Hey VTubers, full body tracking looks really cool, right? But it's so expensive. But does it have to be? I'm Anicia, and everything you see me doing is done with a webcam and a free program. Today, we'll be talking about how to set up XR Animator for VTubing. If this video helps you out, please drop a like and a subscribe. I use XR Animator every day for my streams and content creation. Trackerless webcam mocap is an incredibly powerful tool that allows your content to be more expressive. It opens up all kinds of options, including dance and workout streams without the high cost or clunkiness of physical trackers. In my experience, your everyday webcam may not cut it for this. This is because of FOV or the field of view. In many cameras, this will be low, 70 to 90 degrees. This will not be able to see your hands at full width nor your height when standing back, which will make for less accurate tracking and may cause tracking errors. I've tested with a Logitech C920 with 78 degree FOV, and you can see the comparison to a camera at 100 degree FOV here. I recommend an FOV of at least 100 degrees to get the full view of your motions. Secondary to the camera, your GPU will need to be able to handle the tracking model. When running XR Animator, it will display an FPS output in the top left. This is a good indicator of how well the program is running on your setup, and the closer to 60 the better. To give some examples from my experience, my previous GPU was an AMD 5700 XT Tai Chi overclock. While this could run XR Animator at about 45 FPS and run alongside Vineon and lower graphics games, it could not play graphically heavy games without causing my model to lag. On an AMD 7900 XTX, my current GPU, XR runs at a full 60 FPS alongside newer graphically heavy games. In other words, your mileage may vary on how smoothly XR tracks with your specific setup while running your roster of streaming programs. With that out of the way, we can get to the basics of XR Animator. If you're just downloading it now, you'll find it on the GitHub link below. Download the Windows version and extract the files to your preferred folder. There is a web version, but this will not allow you to send VMC data to other programs. I recommend that you use XR for tracking and send the data to your Redeem program and your streaming software. While you can use XR directly with your streaming software, it pairs wonderfully with programs like Vignon or Warudo while letting you use all the features of XR. When you open the program, you'll be greeted by a start screen. Here, you can drop in a VRM model or you can use the base model built in as long as your model isn't wildly different than humanoid. After hitting start, you'll find the UI and a model. On first launch, you'll have no tracking settings on. Let's go over the buttons on your UI. Streamer mode. Once you have your settings put in, clicking this will restore all the settings from your last session. Pose motion. A list of various sitting, standing, and animated poses that you can use with hotkeys. The main ones you'll be using are likely stand simple, full body, or upper body. Webcam media. This is where you can select if a camera or a media file is going to be used for motion capture. Motion capture. This lets you select how much you want tracked. There are several options depending on what you need XR for. VMC protocol lets you change the port number, turn on VMC output, send camera data to Vignon or Warudo, and has a button to turn off the 3D model. UI options. Turn on and off features of the UI, check hotkeys, and drop in backgrounds, 3D worlds, or skyboxes. 
These do not transfer to secondary programs. Hand camera. If you're sending camera data, this will let you control the camera with your hand and give a selfie type of view of your model. Backpack. Has some miscellaneous features from XR's previous life as a game engine. There is a media recorder here to take pics and videos directly from XR. Let's start your setup for the first time. The first thing you will do is turn on your webcam of choice. Click the webcam button, hit yes, and select your camera from the list. Be aware there are only a limited number of cameras XR can read. If you have many connected to your PC, it may not be able to view them all. You can at any time go back into the webcam menu and hit yes flip to invert your tracking direction. Next, select the type of mocap you would like from the mocap menu. There are many options, but if you'd like full-fledged tracking of the current media pipe model, which includes quality face tracking, you will need to use the full body media pipe vision setting. It currently has the most accurate body tracking as well. The legacy holistic setting is lighter on your PC at the cost of accuracy and less facial blend shape recognition. After this, select the pose that works best for you. Use the upper body only if you aren't worried about moving from your desk at all. The full body setting is for if you're looking to move around your space as needed. You can flip between these settings with a hotkey, but be aware that it will likely move your avatar's position in your second program if you choose to use one. Finally, how to use the data. If you're going to use XR directly, you're basically done. Go to UI and UI settings, turn the display off, and capture XR Animator with a window or game capture in your streaming program. It does not have a Spout 2 mode itself. To get your UI back, hit Escape. If you are planning on sending this as VMC data, you'll need to turn on the sender. Click the VMC menu and turn on the VMC protocol. Take note of the port and match that in your secondary program, be it VC Face, Tits, Vignan, or Warudo. To save a little CPU, feel free to turn off the 3D model here. Let's wrap up with some tips on using XR. How much space do I need? If you're intending to use this for full body, you need space to move back and side to side in your room without occlusion of the camera. What kind of lighting should I have? My personal lighting suggestion is a cheap ring light behind your camera setup to illuminate your face and body well. Normal room light will cover the rest. What camera should I use? In my experience, what you are looking for is a high FOV and high shutter speed. While 30 FPS versus 60 FPS doesn't technically change much about the tracking, the shutter speed will affect motion blur when making quick movements. Cameras with a higher FPS will likely have a higher shutter speed. I'll drop a few suggestions below from what I use and what has appropriate specs. My tracking is seeming jumpy. This can come from several factors. A big aspect of webcam tracking is framing. You must use the debug camera window to adjust your camera framing to capture the most out of your movements. Having a clear background to track against will increase your odds of accuracy. Finally, Clothing will matter. Don't wear clothes that match your background or chair or too busy of patterns as it will confuse the tracking model. I like better quality tracking and my PC specs are good. Try out the best quality model setting. Under motion capture, body options, you will find the AI model quality. Change to best and make sure your PC can handle the extra load needed. My camera is at an angle and is making XR look funny. Under motion capture, you'll find webcam angle offset correction. In this menu, you can use the up and down keys to adjust the angle correction. My model is leaning forward. This is a problem with some webcam setups, but there's a setting to fix it. Under motion capture, body options, you'll find body bend reduction. Try these settings till you find a good level for you. I'd like to touch my hands together, but the model is still holding them apart. Under motion capture, body options, you will find arm horizontal offset. 
Click this and use the plus or minus to adjust where your hands touch properly. There is so much you can do with your new full body tracking. I hope this tutorial has covered the basic setup and some of the questions you may have had about XR Animator. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you out.